do you do when everything turns to chaos? When the divine order has seemingly turned into to absolute turmoil, what do you do? Years ago, in 1986, my church was celebrating its 60th anniversary. Now, they had fired their former minister. Half the congregation really loved him, half didn't. And uh, then we had this big anniversary coming about two years after that fact. I had the president of the, the complete theological society come in from Kansas City, Missouri. And she was there, and we were having a celebration. And to heal that ministry, I made the decision to bring back the minister that had been there for so many years to speak and to celebrate with us. Well, he got up to the lectern, and he started to tell off the congregation. And there was literal chaos, and I'm sitting there on the front row, and I'm wondering, what should I do? And I'm trying to control the situation, at least in my mind. You know, I knew that if I got up there and pulled him off the stage, that over 50% of the people would not support me, and it would cause the church never to heal, and it needed to heal. So there I sat on the front row as he went on and on and on about how bad the church was, about how bad the people were. Pretty soon, when everything's going wrong and is the reverse of divine order and seeming chaos, I learned something that day. I just crossed my legs, sat back in my pew, and I decided if there's nothing that I can do, you might as well enjoy the situation. And there I sat, and everything shifted inside of me. And, and I look back on that. It was so many years ago, 1986. It was a major shift inside of me. And when I look back today, I smile at the whole situation. And it is a sweet memory for me instead of a, a terrible memory. When everything is going wrong around you, how do you react? Do you throw up your hands? Do you get involved in it? Do you try to control it, try to fix it immediately? Or if it's so out of control, in I've been in office situations before where they were having battles between themselves and you just sit back and you realize that this is not up to you at this moment. Now, you might say a prayer. I'm sure that I said many that day. God, give me strength. God, give me calm. And God, if there's nothing I can do, let me least enjoy this. And it, I used to have a, a statement that I wrote during meetings when I was about ready to stand up and give my opinion. It is this statement, what is that to thee? And it has helped me so many times over the years. Now, this past week, I've talked a lot about giving life the light touch in our prayer and in positive daily inspiration. Well, sometimes you need to do this when everything is falling down around you. And you need to just sit back, cross your legs, and enjoy the moment. And if you do, it will change that moment for the rest of your life. It will actually cause you to have a great spiritual strength inside of yourself for, for other moments that may come along. And uh, you will come out the other side a victor instead of a victim of the circumstance. God bless you, my friend.